It's your girl, Denise Joy. Welcome to another episode of Transformation for Your Home. Whether it's DIY or professional help, you can make your home a destination you'll love. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Denise Joy, designer at the Furaha Method of Joyful Design. By the way, Furaha means joyful in Swahili. Real quick, please hit the like and the subscribe button. It really helps with the algorithms. And when you get a chance, please share this video. I'd really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my Afro Boho guest bedroom room tour. My entire home, including my home gym, is designed in the Afro Boho design style. I have been using this design style for many years, and I sometimes called it Afro Parisian, but today we claim it as Afro Boho. I really enjoy designing using the Afro Boho design style because of the five main characteristics. One, an appreciation for artistry, craftsmanship, and individuality. Two, honoring one's heritage and legacy. Three, the use of bold, vibrant colors along with carefully curated neutrals for balance. Four, the harmony created from combining eclectic, complementary pieces. Five, blending modern, ethnic, and classic vintage furnishings and decor. There are many elements to the Afro Boho design style, but these five main characteristics you will find in any Afro Boho designed room. This guest bedroom, I did what I always do. I designed the room using my zone theory. Design zone theory just means thinking about how the room can be aesthetically and functionally enjoyed no matter how small or large it is. This guest bedroom is designed with three zones in mind. Luxurious sleeping and resting, cozy book reading zone, and a clothing storage zone with an honoring of heritage and legacy. You ready? Let's go on the tour. Every guest bedroom deserves a cozy, inviting place to lay your head. Whenever I have guests over, they always call this room the bed and breakfast room. In this guest bedroom, I layered many different textures and patterns, creating harmony through the color theory. Three main colors in this color theory are tones of orange, red, and rust, along with gold and pops of turquoise. Any design, neutrals are a given. The use of brown, tan, beige, black, and gray help to ground the bolder colors in the room. Afro Boho loves to combine sophistication and playfulness. In the artwork, you have the modern contemporary piece over the bed and on the side of the bed, the playful sneaker designed artwork. This space says, welcome home. Next up is the chill zone. This area invites you to grab a book or a magazine, or maybe just sit with your thoughts and relax. In this zone, there's more patterns and layering of textures. I use the African mud cloth on the bench, the cheetah print pillows, and that gorgeous chevron pattern in the leather layered rug on top of the carpeting. There's also an acknowledgement of heritage and legacy in this zone with the record collection sitting on top of the mud cloth bench. Hey, let me know in the comment section below when you're coming for a visit because the guest room is ready. Our final zone, storage and heritage legacy zone. I purchased this storage armoire because when I remodeled this home, I stole the closet space in this room and added it to the small bathroom. Here's a quick look at my Afro Boho bathroom. Believe it or not, the shower area was even smaller. So I stole the two foot closet from the guest bedroom and added that space to make this room bigger. That left me with no storage area for guests in this room. Adding this modern storage armoire helps this guest room maintain its functionality. On top of the armoire, I have the natural elements that are characteristic of Afro Boho. 
with the thrifted woven reed baskets and this pretty nifty purse that's made out of rattan. In the heritage legacy category, I have a gift given to me by the creators of the film Between the World and Me, thanking me for my role in curating a talkback panel about the film. It's even signed by the director, Camila Forbes. Woohoo! I have a bit of a bonus. I'm sharing my hand-painted DIY artwork. I purchased this mirror at the thrift store for 10 bucks and transformed it with this unique dope art design. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I hope this Afro Boho room tour inspired you. Adding more elements of the Afro Boho design style to your home isn't hard. All you have to do is remember the five main characteristics. If you'd like to hear the deep dive on the Afro Boho design style, I dropped the link to that video in the description below. Please let me know what was your favorite thing from this room tour. Thank you so much for swinging by my channel. Why don't you go ahead and click a link and watch one of my videos right now? Hey, you might even binge watch a few. So I will see you in the next video.